Okay, so now we're gonna do the part where we're gonna convert the Ice Age 2 main movie into um, XVID and in a format that will maintain the AC3 audio. So we're not gonna convert the audio to MP3, we're gonna maintain it as, as AC3 for optimal audio quality. So how do you do that? As you can see, I've got Ice Age here. So first thing we're gonna do is fire up FFmpeg X, which is the application that we're gonna use in this case. So we're gonna fire it up, FFmpeg, and the application when it starts, yeah, we're gonna try for free. And first thing to do is to drag the application into the open, field. So now we have actually told uh, to open up this application and as you can see it found it and M encoder has been by default uh, picked for a selection. First thing you're going to want to do is to change this to be an XVID M encoder format because that's uh, the best option to create an XVID file as an AVI that will be readable by both Windows and Mac. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go under filters and we're gonna figure out what is the video format and what cropping needs to be applied to it. So to do that you will click on the auto crop tab and this will fire up a playback of the movie as you can see here and this will help FFmpeg X to figure out what cropping values are required for a movie. Here I am actually going forward in the movie to actually look at multiple fields and to make sure that the values for a crop are properly adjusted. So when you're happy with that you can push the press the escape key that will bring you back uh, into FFmpeg X and as you can see here crop values have been found to be 4802 Two. and now that being done you can click on the video tab and go and change some options there uh, first thing that you will notice is that the film was detected to be NTSC film which essentially means 23.976 frames per second and that the size of the movie was 2.35 to 1 ratio standard um, uh, film size and the, so then the video size or the desired output size was figured to be 640 by 272 uh, pixels. You may want to change this if you want. For example, if you wanted to maintain or the original size of uh, 720 pixels wide, you could change that value to 720. Press the tab key that moves it to uh, the next field. As you've noticed, the value for the height hasn't changed. So to make it adjust automatically, what you need to do is reselect 2.35 to 1. And now based on the aspect ratio, uh, the desired height is 304 pixels. So now that we're done with this, remember when you actually extracted your DVD, you also uh, you were shown that the length of the movie was actually one hour and 30 minutes so in our case we're gonna have to adjust that because sometime M player slash M encoder have problems reading the the length of time of the movie so we have to manually input it so 30 minutes plus one hour is 90 minutes so we're gonna tell uh, the FFmpeg X that the length of the movie is 90 minutes and we're gonna ask what is the proper video bitrate that we should set for this kind of a resolution so in our case we'll click what is the best video rate and it tells us it's uh, 1178 kilobits per second now for a good measure I always throw an extra 200 kilobits per second in the mix so I'm gonna round this up then to 1400 kilobits per second for the video next stop is going into the audio section where we're gonna pick that we want to 
pass through the original audio so we're going to pass through the audio and therefore we're not going to do any audio encoding and that's about it in this section you could also change the audio track so from zero which is the default audio to maybe one or two depending on the audio track that would contain the language you want to follow for example if you wanted to do uh, encoding of the French track uh, you would just select one because it happens to be the French channel filters to go back to them again is where you could apply some the interlacing, the noising, the ringing, and the blocking option. But since that's a pretty clean movie, uh, we're not going to do any of that. Next up, the options tab. This is where you're going to make or break the encode quality of your movie. So, general rule is for Xvid, you will actually pick high quality, use B frame, two pass encoding, and tree quantization this will ensure that you get the high quality movie and it's going to be done in two pass the first pass to figure out how many bits needs to be allocated to each frame uh, over the duration of the movie to actually meet the target of 1500 bits per second for the movie the next thing you want to make sure is that your qmin and qmax are qmin of 2 and qmax of 30 this way you ensure a wide range of potential quality per frame that can be used by FFmpeg or by M encoder when it will actually create the movie. So with that done, there isn't only one thing that's left to be done is to click the encode button here and let FFmpeg do its magic and create the movie. So as you can see it started the creation process and if you go beside the window where we used to only see one thing which was Ice Age now you're going to see Ice Age 2 title.avi and the log file of the first phase of the encoding which is the first pass of encoding the file and that file will be used to read the amount of bits that needs to be allocated to each frame for the second pass where the encoding will take place and as you can see it's slowly progressing in the encoding so one person has been done of the first phase you can also get some more details about the encoding and what's happening by clicking on the, on the little eye in the section and you're going to get a display of what's of what has been done uh, when m encoder started so you can see encoding started on this date m encoder version cpu whatnot so the details about the source file itself I hope this helps you make good quality XVID copies of your legitimate DVD that you own.